For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, let's do this uh, rather somewhat confusing problem where they tell you all clocks were constructed using a few C, B, this one right here, to drive the gears and watch hands. The purpose of the few C is to increase the leverage uh, developed by the main spring A as it uncoils and thereby loses some of its tension. So remember what they mean by leverage is that this winding is going to change in radius providing either more or less leverage. If you change the radius of the winding but the torque remains the same then you're changing the leverage. So they tell you that the mainspring can develop a torque moment of Ts equals k which is a constant times theta where theta is in radians and this is the constant which is 0 0.015 newtons per per newton meters per radian and that's the torsional stiffness of theta is the angle is the angle of twist of the spring in radians if the torque tf developed by the fuse is to remain constant as the main spring main spring winds down and x is equal to 10 millimeter when theta is equal to 4 radians find the required radius of the fuse c when theta is 3 radians. So this is how I'm going to tackle this problem. You know that Ts, that's the torque moment, Ts is equal to k times theta, given right here. And you know that the constant is equal to 0 0.015 newton meters per radian. Now, you know that as theta is equal to 4 radians, right here you know that ts is equal to 0 0.015 times 4 radians according to this formula which comes out to be 0 0.06 newton meters fair enough now you know that ts is also equal to the force times the radius of a this radius right here which is given you know that the moment is given by the force that is uh, pulling times the radius of the spring. If I was going to do a top view, this would be the radius, this would be the force. So you can see that the moment is equal to the radius times the force. So that's the definition of moment. So what you do in this formula is you solve for F and you get that this is Ts over the radius arm. So, F is equal to 0 0.06, because we calculated Ts right here at 4 radians, divided by the radius of A, which is 12 millimeters. Converted to meters is 0 0.012. So, F is equal to 5 newtons. This is all at 4 radians. Now, you know that Tf, which is this torque moment right here, is equal to the force, the same force because they're both connected, times x. x is the radius of this um, assembly. So Tf is equal to 5, which we calculated, times 0 0.01 meters, which is given right here. x is equal to 10 millimeters at 4 radians which comes out to be 0 0.05 newton meters for Tf. Now they tell you that Tf, which is developed by the fuse C, remains constant no matter where we are at. Since it remains constant, you know that as theta is equal to 3 radians, Tf is going to be the same. 0 0.05 newton meters so you know that a 3 radians ts is equal to 0 0.015 times 3 0 0.015 is the constant and 3 is the radians we're using this formula again so ts at 3 radians is equal to 0 0.045 newton meters so f which is equal to Ts 
over R A, this formula right here, is equal to 0 0.045 over 0 0.012 because you can tell that this never really changes in radius, which comes out to be 3.75 newtons. Now that we got the force and we know that the F remains constant and you know that the F is equal to F times X right here, the F remains constant no matter where you add so this is 0 0.05, F is 3.75 which is calculated and with that we can solve for X to get the new radius that the assembly B needs to be. So when you solve for X you're going to get that this is equal to 0 0.01333 meters or you can convert, convert it to millimeters and you get that this is 13.33 millimeters. Final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.